Okay, my name's uh, Vic. I've been working for Silverson's for the past 35 years. I'm a centre lathe turner for Silverson's and health and safety rep for the company guys uh, who work here as well. Um, this is a centre lathe. Uh, at the moment, I'm dealing with an inline head. Um, I shall be turning the inline head uh, as accurate as I can with all the measuring equipment that we've got uh, to keep it in the uh, tolerances that the company worked to. Um, with a lathe, there's obviously safety features. We have guards, which keeps us safe. Our safety glasses to keep us safe. Uh, we also have coolants. Uh, the coolants are to keep the cools nice and cool whilst cutting our stainless steel material. Um, with health and safety, we have to make sure that we are abiding by uh, health and safety regulations. Um, at the moment, we are uh, in the uh, midst of doing something with coolant now because health and safety have changed the directive. Um, other than that, keeping ourselves safe, safety glasses, safety boots and a tyre. Um, once we turn our components, uh, they go off to inspection to be checked. Uh, once they're checked and they're okay, that's it. And that's the component finished. Hello, my name is Ross. I'm a CNC turner at Silverstone Machines. What my job entails is taking a raw billet from the stores, programming it, putting it on my machine and making it into component or part. We work in imperial and metric measurements. Imperial measurements, we work to five temps and sometimes even smaller, depending on the job and how accurate it needs to be. Um, the machining part of it can be quite hard, but also is quite rewarding at the same time. That will then be passed on into inspection and furthermore completed elsewhere. My name is Rod. I'm a fabricator welder at Silverson's. What I do for a job is we do all the bases and any manufacturing types and design they wish us to make which aren't done on CNC's, i.e. bases, stands, etc. Welding is basically a form of joining two bits of metal together. Here we have a base which comes to us in separate parts. We make sure the base is correct in the holes and the fitting for the machine to go on. If you don't get the holes in line, the machine will not fit and can't go to the customer. So everything has to be correct to the drawing. And sometimes if the drawing is slightly an error, it has to be right to the job. That's why it's a fabricating welding shop. Because we do TIG welding, MIG welding, we have to wear proper PPI or PPE, a helmet, forget who it's made by, all helmets are the same. They're all the same optical helmet, which means you can see through them until you start welding. You must not look at the welding with your naked eyes, otherwise you will get burned eyes. We have to have protective screens up, which is legal to do so and it's illegal not to have the screens up we can get sued you wear protective gloves to stop the burns that's why in summer we have to wear long sleeves and the welder machine is a multitask machine which does everything we need to do hello there my name's neil Heyman. i'm in charge of the electro discharge machines that you can see in the factory here now what we're doing at the moment this is for L4R. This is a, a very small head. And what we do, we put this on the table like so, and then we spark it in a series of operations around a diameter until we come up with a product like this. Okay, my job I really enjoy. It's a lovely clean environment in here. Now after this particular product has been spark eroded around the outside, it will then go into inspection to be checked that I've actually manufactured it to the drawing up here. And then when it's all checked and cleared, then it will be deburred on a lathe and all the burrs taken off. And then it will be passed over to the L4R department for assembly. Okay. Hello, my name's Jerry Pettit. I'm a fitter working for Silversons. My main job is to collect the parts to build the machines and to make sure the machines go go to a dispatch on time the parts are delivered to me when the machine is complete the inspectors come and check it and then they go off 
to a dispatch. I've been working here for 15 years. It's a very good atmosphere to work in, nice and relaxed and friendly. Uh, where I work now is called is the gantry area and mainly we do um, experimental work and testing new machines under here which makes them much more interested than the general one of the mill putting machines together. Hello, my name's Elliot Hearn. Uh, I'm a fitter and assembler at Silverson Machines. Um, here at Silverson's I assemble and fit all the machines. We test them to make sure they're safe for companies to use. Oh, I make about two machines a day uh, and go through the testing process of using various different testing machines to make sure that this product's safe uh, to use in a work environment. 